Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I said in my last video that I would film a little flip through of my 2019 journal, so that's what I'm doing. It is the same journal I used last year but in green, so I didn't really see the point in getting a different one because I'm happy with what I used. So I am using a key this year. I've never like stuck to one of these, but I thought I'd give it a try. And then um, for my mood tracker, I use the Zebra Mild Liners. So I just have the colors there and then the color code things that are on there. And then I obviously haven't filled in my um, content page yet. I will probably do that. I sort of start towards the middle of the year and then I just leave it until the end of the year when I'm done. This, I always look really happy with how my like overview pages come out. I'm really happy with how this looks. I don't know. I always like doing these pages. They take a long time though because of all the numbers but I'm happy with it. I think it's worth all of that pain that my hand's in. Next is my mood tracker and my period tracker. I really like these. I used them last year also but last year for my period tracker I put my the moon cycles in there as well um, but this year I've decided to keep that separate but on my period tracker I do like to track things like cramps, headaches and back pain also because it would, I don't know, it's good to see patterns and then you know when to expect it because my body is usually very like routine in that sort of way and then yeah just regular mood things there. Um, that sticker is from a Kiki K sticker book and that sticker and this one and this one and this one they are from Cheyenne Barton who you probably know if you journal because she makes very lovely stickers yeah I you, I don't know if you'll be able to see I can't really see what it looks like but I redid all of my headers um, for these pages like all of my pages because I just didn't like how they came out so I rewrote them and glued them in. <laughs> Next is passwords. I haven't filled this out, but I do find this very helpful because I am very forgetful, especially when it comes to passwords because there are a couple that I use depending on, like for my bank, I use a different password to like Instagram because my bank is like a little more important to me. So I like to switch them up when it's things like that. And then these are my monthly payments, just of all of the things that I pay for, like Apple Music and Netflix and all of that. So it's also good, that's good for when I'm like planning out what bills I need to pay. It's always good to look back on that and figure out what I need to pay and when. Uh, this is my pen pal info page. I haven't filled this one out either because I was planning on taking photos of this and posting this video, but this is where I'll put my pen pals addresses and birthdays and stuff like that so I don't forget. Next is makeup purchases. I had two pages for this last year and I am on well I was on my second page and I spent way way more than I thought I would so this year I'm only allowing myself this page and that is all. I bought way too much makeup last year and I don't need any more but obviously I want to like track where a lot of my money goes and it's I feel like a lot of unnecessary purchases are on makeup so I want to like track that and just look back on it and be like okay this is where you can cut out on some spending. Next are movies, documentaries, podcasts and books. I haven't filled this in a lot. I have mainly done my books because I asked on Instagram for a few book suggestions so I wrote those down and podcasts uh, they're all murder ones which is not great because I do like to listen to podcasts at night but 
I just enjoy, well it's not that I enjoy it, I just find it very interesting, the, those sort of podcasts. Documentaries I haven't written any down yet because I haven't gone through my Netflix list and cleared it out of things I've watched and things I want to watch and yeah, I'll probably rewrite that down and then obviously I have a few movies there. Next are TV shows. I watch mainly TV shows, so I I have this page spared just in case, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put there. It might be for TV shows, but I'm not too sure just yet. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for TV shows or anything else, I would love to hear them because it's always interesting to see what other people listen that like listen to and read and watch next are my goals um i know that there are more and i keep remembering them and then i forget to write them down so i completely forget them but i will try to write them in as i remember them but they're just like simple things like i want to read more now that i have glasses and i can read more i really want to do more of that next is just a nice little page of like things that I like like colors and then like a few little quotes and some washi tape I just wanted like a nice page I don't know what to call this it's just a fun page next are my moon calendar and moon faces pages I I don't know I like having these in I like to know the moon cycle and all that sort of stuff I know that it's not for everyone, but it's one that I enjoy having, so I thought I'd make a two-page spread this year. And then this is my housework routine page. I haven't done this yet because I want to wait until my son starts school next month, um, so then I can sort of get into like a daily routine without him because he's going to be going to school every day now, which is so scary because he used to only go twice a week. So yeah it's gonna be a huge change for everyone all right so they are just all of my collection pages and now we can move on to January and I'm so happy with how these came out I don't know I just really love these I'm I did this sort of layout for December and I really love how it came out so I went with it again um yeah, I just really like it and I did my habit trackers. I did it fairly similar to what I have been doing in the past, but instead of putting individual boxes, I just grayed out um, the, the days where there isn't, like it's not part of the month. And then I'll just fill these in with, uh, I don't know what color, probably just a dark gray or maybe like a brown or a red color. I don't know. I'll fill those in um, as I, do them and then lastly here is my first weekly spread so I'm keeping it fairly simple just because I don't really think I have many plans this week it's mainly gonna be like organizing the house taking all the Christmas stuff out um, yesterday we organized our garden shed which was so good because we just had so much crap in there because we we moved in April but I feel like I've really only just sort of finished unpacking and yeah it was good to move stuff and throw things out that I don't need anymore so I think I'm gonna continue that sort of thing uh, this week and just like get my life back in order because Christmas really messes with my like routine so yeah I need to organize everything because Christmas was crazy but yeah, that is my journal so far. I hope this helped anyone who needed some ideas of what to put in their journal. But yeah, I I think I'm going to keep up with posting my journal on here. Um, just because I enjoy making these videos and I hope people like them. But yeah, I will probably see you soon. I kind of want to do a desk tour. And my desk is pretty complete now. Um, my husband and I recently just reorganized our office. 
So I want to show you what it looks like because I'm pretty proud of how fun it is right now. So yeah, I'll probably film that movie next week. We'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.